Hello interwebs, I'm Eric and welcome to the Looney Turtle. So this week I wasn't quite able to get the Llamas with Hats video done. Uh, there's still a lot to write and I'm kind of parsing out exactly how I want to write it. Uh, so you can wait a little bit longer on that one, unfortunately. But this week I thought that I would call back to a video that I did with Cavatina Nova Bell in which we talked about Blitzo's relationships. Now in the process of making that video, we actually rewatched the entirety of Hell of a Boss. And in the process of that, we identified a scene that just tickled the right part of my brain to just admire what effort was put into it. You see, this scene implores a method of animation called parallax, and it's a way of giving a scene depth, uh, much like you would see mountains far away in a distant land while everything up close is just whizzing on past. Um, they move at different speeds, and that gives a grandiose feel to how a scene may be constructed. With this particular scene, it adds gravity to the weight of what Moxie is discovering in this moment. Uh, a Camilla Carmine angel-tipped gun that's supposed to be able to kill demons, even demon royalty. And, and the reason that, that I re-watched this scene over and over and over again with Cavatina just bored on the other line like, why are you doing this? Uh, is because there's so many different layers put into play for such a short... It's a blink and you miss it kind of moment, but there's a lot of depth to the scene. You see, in the very far background, you've got the wallpaper for the hallway. Then in front of that, you've got the railing for the staircase. Then in the next layer, you've got the door frame, wall, and our mysterious foe appearing in the background. And then on top of that, we've got Moxie. And on top of that, we've got a 3D modeled chest on a what I presume to be 3D modeled table. Uh, that also parallaxes with the motion. Uh, I also noticed that the uh, animation for the characters are slightly out of sync as well, and so it's just a culmination of a lot of different details that make up this grandiose, oh my goodness, this, this gun is here, that is honestly just a lot of effort put into such a short scene to add depth and weight to a moment. And I really appreciated that so much that I rewatched it so many times and I felt the need to make a video about it someday. I just wasn't quite sure how to put it together. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed me just nerding out over a minor animation detail. And uh, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see all of you in the next video.